And welcome back. The Columbia City Ballet presents Dracula at the Sotili Theater just in time for Halloween. Artistic and Executive Director William Starrett is here with more on this performance that you'll really be able to sing, guilty into. Welcome. <laughs> yes, uh, you're <laughs> no, really getting into it. Thank you. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe, you know, I said I've been a, a people call me a witch, a good witch, that is. Maybe yeah. I have a hint of, but then, too, I do like to operate in the dark because I can see. I prefer the lights off, so I might have a hint of maybe we vampire all, in the We all have a dark side, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that might be it. So let's talk about this very successful a uh, successful ballet that you actually conceived 20 years ago. Yes, First of all, what, how did you come up with the concept? Well, the board of directors sort of wanted a new ballet and something fresh, and there yeah. were only like three in the world at mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. And um, Dance Magazine deemed it one of the top five in the world yeah. since then. So I just had the idea as an enduring story, and it just really lends itself for ballet. You Absolutely. know, I based it on the Bram Stoker, and so... Jonathan Harker is going to sell real estate to the Count Dracula, mm -hmm. and he's seduced by the three maidens, yeah. and his, um, his fiance worries about him. And mm -hmm. um, I did put a, I changed the story in that I added a daughter um, oh. that was kidnapped by Count Dracula, okay. so that um, you could see readily that uh, Count Dracula was the evil. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. um, getting Victoria back and, um, mm -hmm. and uh, revenging Count yeah. Dracula's death is. Is all part of the plot. Wow, I love it. I love this feeling already. I'm like picture as you're speaking. I'm just picturing it all in my head. You know, not knowing what the the, uh, the dancers look like. And let's talk about the dancers because you had uh, some great people to come out and audition uh, I, for it. Let's talk about some of the dancers. I did. Yeah. The dancers are from all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, we have about 32 professional dancers, and mm -hmm. um, the Columbia City Ballet is the largest performing arts organization in the state of South Carolina. Wow. All the artists are contracted, yeah, so yeah. Um, they work all week long. We've just been invited to Chicago. We're performing there in April. Mm -hmm. um, we will open Dracula here in Charleston yeah. on the Saturday night. That is right, and that is this Saturday, and we do know that we'll have a lot of people in town. Of course, it's a really big weekend with the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Of course, that's going to be going on. So why, did, why has the show been so consistently popular? I, I think the so music's consistent. exciting, and the, mm -hmm. the, and the story is um, is universal yeah. and I think with Twilight and then mm -hmm. True Blood and Absolutely. there's a new movie of, of Dracula it's just a real common theme and you yeah. know one of the traits you get as you become a vampire is you're seductive and, oh. and <laughs> is that what very attractive okay. and because you have to seduce them into <laughs> right. your world and okay. then you yeah you get then you go your in your nourishment the yeah. blood that your sustenance and that's, that's that what you need. need to survive that's well, right you need you that's need right. it to live and yes. so you've got to seduce your prey and right. so mm -hmm. you know that really lends itself for a very sensual and right. exciting plot yeah. and adventure and i change it up a little bit every year okay. people, people who make it a tradition mm -hmm. i change it and we have a brand new dracula this year okay. very young and mm -hmm. um very handsome I bet. gentleman, mm -hmm. incredible actor, yeah. and uh, three new maidens this year that okay. seduced Jonathan into the world of the undead. Oh, the undead. It's, the, it's yeah. not <laughs> particularly for children. Good, so you don't want I would say, again. no, okay. I would say from high school and above. Okay. And every student actually gets a um, $10 ticket where, oh, okay. for um, sort of discovering the art. Oh, awesome. And where can folks get tickets? Can well, you, them in advance um, or? you go online. Okay. okay. Um, the Satili Theater does not have a box office per se. Gotcha. But go online, ColumbiaCityValley.com, or it's 866-811-4111. You okay. can get tickets, and you can go r up right up at the door. You right. can buy tickets. Last okay. year, we almost sold out, and it was a Tuesday. And this okay. year's a, a Saturday. Saturday. So, so yeah. people should plan ahead if they want to go. It's very, very exciting. Absolutely. The Satili is a gorgeous theater. It is, absolutely. And I want to say real quick, I've got to laud you and the things that, that you've done uh, in your career. Uh, let everyone know, um, you come with a history, just a couple of your, your accolades. Well, I have the highest American medal in the first international ballet competition right. that was held in the United States. Mm -hmm. I danced in 29 countries. I used to dance for the American Ballet Theater. Baryshnikov was my, my boss. boss. I like that. Baryshnikov was my boss. Yeah, I love that part. Yeah. And But I've been ensconced here in, in the arts and in dance from South Carolina. This is my 28th year wow. directing. Yeah. And um, we're very excited about our season. We're doing the Jonathan Green Ballet off the wall. Oh, wow. And we're also doing the Nutcracker, of course, which awesome. I hope I get to come back and talk absolutely, to you about. Absolutely, absolutely. I tell you what, if it's anything like Dracula, of course, it's two different ends of the spectrum. But, of course, we know it's going it to be is. great just by you describing this. So, Dracula, it's ballet with a bite. <laughs> Make sure you get your tickets. Thank you, William. Thank Thanks, you so Tessa. much. Thanks, Great seeing you. Great seeing you, too. Up next, we're going to uh, go from vampires to zombies. Lots of undead stuff going on around it's here. Halloween. Halloween. Stick <laughs> around if you dare. <laughs>